In this movie we're going to take a look at primary and deputy approvers on a decision step in a DDM workflow. So let's take a look at an example. As a user I've created a document a test specification that needs to be sent for approval and so I've reserved it into an approvals folder and attached it to a workflow. So we have a, a three-step approval workflow with the decision step being the pink step in the middle. If we look at the properties of this step, we can see that the decision rules require approval from the engineering manager and from the senior engineer. Now in certain circumstances this can cause problems if one of these approvers is not available to complete the approval request. For example, the user may be uh, off-site, may be on holiday, or may be on sick leave. And what we need is a mechanism to allow this workflow to move forward uh, in the absence of one of our primary approvers. And the way to do this is to assign some deputy approvers who can approve or make decisions on behalf of one of the other users. If we go into DDM Admin, and have a look at our workflow. Here we have our simple three-step approval workflow and our step in the middle is our decision step. Our decision step is currently being sent to our AR, our approval request approvers role and what we need to do is to edit this role to add in our deputy approvers. So if we take a look at our roles we're going to double click and edit AR approvers and here we have our engineering manager and senior engineer. What I'm going to do is to add myself as a user into this role. I need to mark myself as not a primary approver and I'm now just going to assign myself as a deputy to the engineering manager. And that's the changes complete in the admin tool. we return to our workflow, we're now going to send this forward for approval. So we're going to log out to this user and log in as the senior engineer. Now as with any decision step, steps awaiting for a decision will appear under my workflow tasks uh, and here's the folder. And we're simply going to move this forward by right clicking and sending it to the release option. And we're notified that this action is confirmed but it now needs to wait for the engineering manager uh, to give his approval. So we're going to log out as the senior engineer and as the engineering manager is not available to give his approval we're going to log in as his deputy and we're going to take a look under my deputy tasks to see this task awaiting for the approval. Again the document's still attached so we'll double click to open the folder properties, go to our graphical view and we're going to send this forward for approval. Now notice as I'm approving on behalf of the engineering manager this is indicated in the workflow step selection dialog the action is performed as a deputy on behalf of the engineering manager so yes I approve this in the and we can send that forward So if we have a look at the audit trail now, we can see that Mark B made the decision on behalf of the engineering manager. So when we make an approval on behalf of a primary approver, all of this information is captured in the audit trail of the folder.